Storm Studio Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the seamless tile mode and you can use that to create some very interesting pattern designs. Also you can export them to Photoshop and other applications. Now first thing to do, just quickly go over to the edit menu and edit and seamless mode. So let's click that. Now, you'll notice one thing with this is it doesn't actually show that it's actually in seamless mode here, but you can see that you're in seamless mode because you drag that out and just quickly apply a brush stroke. Now, I'm going to set the color there and then just drag. And you can see now that you're actually creating a seamless pattern design. So you can see the, the same design over here. You can just continue doing that. Very quick and simple to create a seamless tile. Now, there's also other options. You've got rulers, so you can actually say maybe create circular designs. You can also go over here and filter and warp. That's quite a nice one. You can actually go into the warp, just say okay to that, and just warp the design so you can actually just modify that. Like if I actually zoom out, you can actually see the key thing here if you're going to use the warp is to use pin edges. So you can avoid just going too close to it. Otherwise, if you do go over the edge, the seamless design is actually lost so but you can actually warp it modify it and do things and then click OK come out of that and you still got your seamless tile there so you can create like really interesting designs just very quick and you of course quickly go over here and use another brush and I'm just going to drag that brush out there and go that way now once you've actually finished that let's say you can once you've done that go to uh, obviously use it within Paint Storm, but you can actually also go to File and Save As, and you can then go Save As and then just give it a name. And the weird thing about that, it doesn't actually offer any options, but you can actually save it to like a PNG file. So just say 2.png and that sort of thing. And then save. Now, that's it. Hope you found that of interest. Thank you much.